Hi, we want to help as many of you as we can on making a Sven co-op server on the Steam version. So let's get into the video without any more talking. First step, you need to download a program called Port Forwarding Network Utilities. I will leave a link for this program in the description. Install it, it should take only a few seconds and the program will open. Now this is a very important step, don't skip it. You need to make your IP address static and leave it static, don't change it back. Click static IP address and as you can see my IP address is currently dynamic. To make it static, just click, click make it static, obviously. Leave this stuff, ignore it, click apply and apply changes. And in only a few seconds, our IP address will be static. Done. Now my IP address is static. Leave it static, don't change it back. Close this program. Now you need to forward your 27015 port. So right click, open run, type cmd. In cmd, type IP config and write down your IP v4 address and your default gateway address which is down here. I wrote them down right here in this notepad. Copy your gateway address and type it in your browser and it should take you to the home page of your router. Now port forwarding is not the same on every type of router. So I will leave a link on tutorials on how to forward the port for every router in the world. Check that link, please, if you have a different router. So type your username and your password. And go to port forwarding. Now check enable. And since we're doing a span co-op server, we will name it Sven. On protocol, you need to check both TSP and UDP. Now, this was the problem for me, but Phoenix helped me out. Thanks, Phoenix. Heads off for this guy. He wasted his time on me. Leave it blank. Okay, this is very important. Leave it blank. Don't change the WAN connection. And at the port, write 27015. 27015. And at LAN host IP address, you need to write your IPv4 address. So copy it, paste it. And at the port, you need to write again 27015. Now my router shows that the port is enabled, but to make sure, open again network utilities and click port checker, write on port number to check 27015, check TSP, click check me, and as you can see my port is open, UDP. is opened. Now you have confirmation. Now you're pretty much done with the port forwarding stuff. Now open your game and go into the web, web browser and type what's my IP. This will be your server IP when you create one. Copy it and start a new game. Now, uncheck LAN game. If you want to play only with your friends, you should make a password. Because if you don't type a password on your server, your server will show up on the server browser and strangers can join it. Now we will do a server without a password. We will join a map. 
and now your server is ready to go but to make sure that it's not LAN type SV LAN 0 then type IP and paste your IP that you found on that website and then type heartbeat this command refreshes the server so type it many times just to make sure now for your friends to join your server I will have Phoenix here to do a demonstration you need to give them your external IP connect your IP that you found there and at this extension 2.27015 you need to add it to the address 2.27015 and as you can see since I have no password on this server a stranger joined my server because my server showed up in the server browser And as you can see Phoenix joined the game now if you want to play only with your friends you should type a password our password will, will be Phoenix choose a map start the server and follow the same steps SV LAN 0 IP copy your IP that you found on the website and heartbeat many times okay so your friend to join your server you will write he needs to write this on his console connect your IP address with the port included then you need to put a semicolon after the IP space password because we have a password on our server password and type the password your password here our password is Phoenix and your friend will type this into his console and Phoenix has joined the game so me and Phoenix we hope that this video and his guide helped you out and please leave a like on the video if this helped you out and of course don't forget to rate Phoenix guide this is his guide I followed his steps don't forget to rate it thanks for watching